Aussie mystery series landing on our screens this weekend. Jamie Dornan stars in The Tourist, which follows a man who wakes up in the outback with no memory of who he is or why he's there. And when people from his past begin to pursue him, he has to use the few clues he has to discover his identity and quickly. Our very own Brooke Boney caught up with Jamie while he was filming the series in South Australia. You're awake. You're in a car crash. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, um, I have no idea. Oh. Jamie, how are you, mate? Welcome to the Today Show. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry I look like this. You know, usually I would tidy myself up a wee bit more if I was going to be doing press, but we're in the middle of a day shooting, so you're just getting this uh, ragged version of me. Bloke out there reckons he's lost his memory. For real? Well, tell us a little bit about the tourist. It's very hard to uh, surmise in, like, a, a short space of time, I have to say. <laughs> Essentially, it's about a guy who is involved in a car chase at the beginning. Hello? Something happens to him, and then... Who's this? I don't even know how much I'm allowed to say, but essentially he's he's uh, lost his memory. And we get shown as the audience to piece together who he is and how he came to be in Australia and, and what the sort of what came before that moment that, that, that the show begins with. And all kinds of crazy stuff um, have led to that to that moment. I've never met anyone with amnesia before. Something really weird is going on. Either I have the worst luck in the world or someone's trying to kill me. Everyone on this job, I've, I've lucked out, you know, the two main girls, Danielle McDonald and Shalom Brew Franklin, who's an Aussie, but who does loads of work in the UK. And then uh, David Manharriman, Alex Dimitriadis. It's basically, it's all Aussies and then me, you know, it's called The Tourist. So it's like, we've all had a laugh and been on this sort of mad, long journey together, you know, so definitely made some proper friends out of it. Now, you may not know this about Alex Dimitriades, <laughs> but he was on a show in Australia called Heartbreak High. Oh, yeah. And he is everyone's crush. Even just hearing you say his name now, I'm like, oh, Alex Dimitriades. Would you rather speak to him? Should I go and find him? He's just, here. Just let him know that we, we all still love him. Okay, okay. I think he knows. I think he knows. I, enough people have sort of told me about the gravitas, I guess, that that show held and what, it, what his role in it. So... You know, I can, I can get a sense of that, yeah. And you filmed a fair bit of this movie in the Outback. Yeah, we've done loads of it in the Outback. Um, I mean, it's been a long shoot. It's the longest job I've ever done this. And um, we have, my voice is cracking, you can hear there. That's just how broken I am by the end of this, by the end of this job of five months. Of, no, I think I've had very little time off. But yeah, it's we've been you know, back out the Flinders Ranges um, for probably uh, eight or nine weeks of the sort of 19 weeks or whatever it is. I'm looking for an Irish man. I want you to bring him to me. The man's got no idea what's coming. Come to Swayze. Have you enjoyed being in Australia? I love it. Yeah, it's been it's been great. You know, it's been. Five months of being here, which is a long time. I'd only ever spent sort of nine days in Australia before, was the long. Uh, it's been great. I've had my whole family over here. Uh, kids have been going to school here. Do they have little accents after spending a few months here? Yeah, the odd word. Our seven-year-old particularly got little Aussie accents, which is really cute. And I, I mean, God knows how long that's going to last. You've got like amnesia. Yeah. Mates, <laughs> that is awesome!